Okay, here we are. Pride Bracket Championship. Flamby versus Arcanus. Joining me tonight in the booth is Trago, current points leader. How are you? I'm doing pretty well tonight. I got myself a glass of water, ready to talk all about <laughs> this matchup. Uh, and it's a good one. Uh, they combined a grudge match format with their Lenovo Cup format. And what we're looking at now is the submission and the building of these blind builds. Uh, so what do you think is going on here right now? I think in Flamby's mind, he's going to want to start strong. And on the side of Arcanus, I'm not entirely sure what he's going to start with. It, it can really be anything. Yeah, they so they don't play or interact a lot with each other, but due to the fact that it's a, a small community, they sort of know each other's fr uh, strengths and weakness. And it looks like Arcanus uh, guessed correctly uh, what Flamby might pick, knowing that he's an Aqua Beam user. This right here is his favorite uh, answer to that ranged Aqua Beam, this double jump move. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's it's not bad. He's made it work. Yeah. Uh, of all the Aqua Beams builds, I really think this this one is my favorite. This Wind Dragon Aqua Beam. This was uh, a build that uh, Terrarius had brought to the league and and made popular and and I like it. I think it's pretty strong. But let's uh, let's see how they how they uh, how they hold up. Yeah. Both players starting off with the tunneling drive. Very strong start. Yeah, full full aqua beam blast, and then a drag. See, that's the best part about this. It's you drag in, he keep him in place, and then you can hit him with a full aqua beam Links right there. Links very well. Links perfectly, and that was pretty pretty quick work by Flamby yeah, right there. Very here. strong round one. Extremely right. strong. That's to be expected when he picks three of his three really good arcana for him, and something yeah. is a lot, which has to be taken into account. Exactly. So now we've got, you know, there's a there's a slight delay here, and so both of these players are, are going to be swapping hosts. So right now we're in France. This is on Flamby's host, so Arcanus is not going to be as accurate. Uh, so picking these 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 jumps is is a sort of play against that as well. It's not dialing back the aggression at all, but unfortunately he's not a lot he's not able to land a lot of hits. No, even with the limited hits that he was able to get in. Dealing almost half of Flamby's health in round two. Very strong of performance. Yeah, so that game one. Game one's going straight to Flamby. Yeah. We're still in France. We're going to see another uh, another blind submission build here. And uh, the players are not going to be repeating Arcana. So I think it's going to come down to who whoever runs out of tricks first uh, is going to be the winner. Or whoever runs out of tricks first is going to be the loser. So, yeah, absolutely. Right both these players aren't known for too much exploration on the Arcana fields, but they definitely yeah. have a limited bag. And Homing Flares and Wind Sentry, something pioneered by Polyder for his lag build. Yeah, very yeah. these are the types of things that we see created by players that have that uh, unfortunate ping disadvantage. Uh, and you know what? They make them work. This right here is a perfect... A perfect uh, build for that. Doesn't require a lot of accuracy. And uh, let's see if he can make this work versus a pretty a pretty strong zoning build by, by Flamby. Absolutely. Especially with that bulwark pickup very good into flares. Yeah. Yeah, because Arcanus is, Arcanus is going to want to get close. He's going to want to jump in there. And yeah, yeah. and, and Flamby's making it hard for him. Two melee-ish Arcana to supplement Flamby's build here. Very useful. Almost able to get out that stun. Very good initiation. We see the Aqua Beam, but he already finished his build. Can't use it, but it's there in spirit for him. Yes, yes. Taking place on this enhanced arena, it increases the light. You know the likelihood of you getting a good pickup right away mm -hmm. and being able to finish that build. Homing able flares and the drill. The wind sent. Yeah. Yeah, so Arcanus' build is pretty strong. He's got floppy clothes, but it was definitely a close match there. Yeah, absolutely. Arcanus was really making sure never to get in that bulwark hitting, because if he did, that would be a complete reversal for Flan being able to probably kill him on the spot. Yeah, it doesn't... The, the Wind Sentry homing flares don't require too much technique, 
all it all it requires is that you back up away from your opponent when he's got his spells on cooldown, and you don't take too much damage. It's very and much so about knowing when to go in and when to back off. That's yeah. all it really is. And then all you've got to do right here is, is dodge a couple of these dragons and, and not get caught in that Gale Force alignment. Absolutely. Um, Getting caught in that is just going to leave you defenseless entirely. And he's able to get in the goes. corner and finish off for, for game two. Very yeah. important win for him, saying that he's not on his preferred host. Yeah, exactly. Getting one win uh, on the uh, uh, in the away field is 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 the key, you know, because now he's got ping advantage. He can't lose a match. If he can't lose a match, uh, you know, if he doesn't lose a match, he's going to take this. Yeah. Um, and and he's got that advantage right there. We do have so. this first game. No, this is our first game on. In America, yes, America, in the yeah. U.S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's see what they got. I mean, uh, two very strong projectiles. This is actually the opposite of what we were thinking is the proper strategy from Flambe. But let's see if let's I see mean, if he can make it work. That exploding fireball does have a very large width, and how much? It True, is. it's you can very forgiving. You'll definitely have some forgiving hits. I'm not too Can't sure about the knockout boulder, boulder choice here. It's Barely. large. It does have a sm it, it has splash damage, but nowhere near as, uh, yeah. as big as that. Especially on enhance, that splash damage. You're seeing it not even hit both dummies that are on top of each other. So. Going with the bladed vine, you can already tell they're going into their D. I was going to say their D basics, but it uh, looks like he's switching. No, now they're just doing their swap. I see, I see. So it looked like we were just looking at a warm up uh, before the actual pre, yeah. the actual build. And here we go, our cat is going for the aqua beam full. full Wambi going build. into what I'd say is his signature line pick of Max Spear. It worked oh, pretty yeah. well to counter against you, but here I think I don't yeah. think I'd be happy seeing the aqua beam rock and roll. No, this blind pick submit was a big whiff. Uh, the homing flares at least, and he's got the bouncing blaze. He can play this if he plays a lot of distance away, but Arcanus is going to want to on his approach. In that yeah, Arcanus is going to want to keep the distance anyway. So this looks like uh, Flamby just got very unlucky in the blind submit. Mm -hmm. and when you go for these big potential plays in the blind submit, such as with Mag Spear, with Evading Zephyr, and you get counter pick. And you don't get that counter pick, you're going to be in a. It's a whiff. Spot. Yeah. And it's immediate it's game that enhanced playing cross really going to help them keep that distance they want. Just extreme he's, range. He's just got to play the patience game, and and he's he's got this one wrapped up. Yeah. Nice hit right there in the corner with those with those blades. Mm -hmm. Getting a bit too much in base. We do see some yeah. good pickups here. Double buff are coming on both sides. So we might get a usage out of it on either side. Lightning aspect, very good if he's able to get that final bit in once, but unable to Not get one. that approach. Even better, he's got the rock and roll, a little bit of that uh, aqua beam, and we can already see yeah, what that Yeah, Blondie has his approach, and he's unable to get in his hits. Very difficult. So. Very difficult. Uh, we also have uh, Seekers and Agents are not allowed in this match, so if we do see them on the field... Uh, players are not going to be picking up regardless of how century, much they would help. The arena. Right there on that edge. I don't know if they caught that, but whoever gets that very is going to have a nice... The, on the way back. Yeah. Very helpful here. And the trick is, you don't want to let your opponent know how keen you are on the pickup. I mean, certain ones, like an enhanced sentry, of course, yes, it's going to be you a hot spot. Be getting that very good damage out from that place. Having that follow up into it. The yeah. second round much more much more even much closer second round absolutely full uh arcan is finally run. taking his first pickup of bolt pinball something that is completely negated by max here here this max here fire yeah. as a true use yeah 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 and uh we've got arcanus on his back foot he was taking control the first round but him taking too long to complete that build really has got him still wandering around Trying to get that poke damage, not really going in for a finish. Mm -hmm. Way too close, way closer, what, much closer than he wanted to be. Yeah, absolutely, especially since he has very good arena control with 
Aqua Beam and Rock and Roll. He's just yeah, able to keep that distance that he wants. He can try control mid, but he chose to uh, give it up for much safer play. Finishing the build with Enhanced Dragon Dive, very good for the range, able to get the game. That was close. That was very close. It that could have very easily gone Flombie's round, to be honest with you. Absolutely. If he landed that uh, Blazing Blitz in the middle of the round, would have been a much different set. Almost killed yeah. on, his, on its own. Very high damage output from it. Now we've got two for Arcanus and one for Flombi. This is a best of seven, so first of four is going to take it. Uh, we also got about 30 points on the line. Arcanus is coming in here with 39 points. Currently the tournament points leader. That could all change uh, once we settle out the Lenovo Cup. But uh, adding to his lead will definitely bump him up in the overall spot. Uh, not to mention the grudge points that are on the line. Somewhere in that same neighborhood, about somewhere between 20 and 30 points. Uh, 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 considering Flomby was the challenger. That could put him easily in the top three. Um, <laughs> with uh, unfortunately fighting for three here since uh, first and second have definitely taken a big lead. Very large lead, but either way this goes, it's going to be a huge points difference at the end of this night. Yeah, yeah, the winner of this is going to walk away with a big bucket of points. So, we've got the blind submit going on right now. Both players probably uh, finishing up their submission. And they're getting verified, so just to make sure yeah. that there is no looping of an arcana accidentally. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's a matter of, you know, who's going to do what. We know that flombie has got a scimitar build. Uh, we know that Arcanus has got a Turbine and Spark Array that he hasn't touched yet. And, I mean, I, I like that strategy. You know, going in with your, you know, your B and Cs early on and then saving your strength for later on. Um, if your opponent does the exact opposite, you should have an easier second half. Uh, which I feel like that second half, I think, is, is more important to have the momentum going into that second half. What True, but... That? It, it is possible for your opponent to just ride that momentum from game one all the way. Yeah, it all depends on whether or not you planned for that momentum. Because if you start out on a on you know if you start out behind and you planned on being ahead, that that's going to be the you know you're going to be in the wrong uh, psychological state to compete, uh, regardless of what resources you've got left. But if you plan on on going stronger in the second half. Uh, at least you're prepared for that, you know, com coming out of that deficit. Absolutely. So, it looks like see. both players have gotten the thumbs up for their builds. So, let's see what they're going with an air dash. Okay, that's new. Ooh, air that already one. on the side of Arcanus. Mini drills. Mini drills are all right. Riptide. On Riptide. Uh, both Flom players Flom running wind. Running Both forward. players running a, a dash that never sees play at all randomly. Okay. I mean, there's so Very. many other good ones, but, I mean, maybe they've got something going on. The area denial <laughs> win set three hasn't been seen yet on the side of Flonby. Mm. Going to get a lot of usage out there. Win and then Dragon and... Surge, very right. much so in a nuisance build that he wants here. Yeah. Yeah, and not a bad response considering that the drills can't be canceled out by the win sentry so both players are going to be able to hit their their standards and uh accomplish what they want to accomplish it's just going to come down to neither player realizes that that dragon was used too early and didn't and wasn't active at all but yes not gonna make yeah it. yeah <laughs> gotta do remember nothing. that casting stuff too early you can mess with its hit bonuses. yeah yeah and, and, and if you in on the field very strong if you play it knows it Especially with that enhanced, more speed, three charge in total, very good. It's going to come down to the, either the, um, you know, the uptime of these dragons or the consistency of this Inferno Beam. But we've got Flomby with two, uh, two very good pickups. That that uh, uh, that Water Prison. If he can land one of those, uh, he might just be able know. to kill with just the Water Prison hit on its own, followed yeah. by everything else. Our hands going to have to play very safe. Yeah, and he's got a nice distance build. Right yeah, here. very good bolt play where to finish it up with the Fractal Flare. A lot of range while also having that Inferno Beam drill fan. We're having wide coverage. 
very nice. Yeah, this is a perfect distance build right here. And, very. I mean, the only thing flombie has got going for him is these dragons. And, you know, they're not as consistent. But, uh... They have that yeah. great power. He's just not yeah, they're good versus combos. They're good to, to bail you out. But, other than that, you know, they they can struggle. You saw that right there. Uh, Arcanus was able to take a lot of damage without taking it. Virtually any heat. Yeah. Voltus pick up. Both players there are going to want that. Very much so back to the <laughs> for them. You immediately see Arcanus going in for some basics in this match. Yeah. Aquabeam seen picked up by Flambe. And that's fair. Uh, both, both players <laughs> now see some of their signature Arcana. Yes, and you can, and look at that, look at this pickup in tempo right here. Now they're getting aggressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know they know their arcana now, and now they feel that they can make some plays here. Well, we got an enhanced skill, of course. Having to struggle with such disadvantage, he has said many a time that Aquaweave is unusable at side of mm -hmm. so. <laughs> The only disappointment in league play is that we can't get perfect matches. If we could all play on the couch, wow, this game would be exciting. It would be great to see some of these matchups from high yeah. play. And then another one close game. match here. Yeah. Four. He was down to four, but a hundred. That could have, another one very close could have easily gone Flombie's yeah. way. Another round very, very close, but this is a big pull away for Arcanis. Uh, he's going to head into the next match, the uh, game point. Yeah. We're going into game point. We might see Arcanus go for that signature build, the Twin Turbine Spark Array from him. So. Yeah, he's still sitting on a lot of tools here. Um, he's got he's got the Spark Array. He still has an Aegis Charge. It's very strong. He still has a Scimitar. These are not, um, you know, his normal Arcana pickups, but these are very strong meta tools that we haven't seen uh, either of these players play yet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he's going to come come up with. Looks like he's searching the book to make sure he gets the name right for his submission. Yeah, don't want to have a mistake that oh, <laughs> on name. I know that that happened between yours and Floppy's grudge when there was a mistaken of wind slash for severing flash. And the Very same happened between Flomby and uh, Jackson when he was trying to go for uh, he was trying to go for a double damage in Aqua Beam uh, in the Lenovo Cup. Uh, that loss got him here, uh, but you know, making it up, making it all the way to the finals in this in this uh, redemption bracket. Mm -hmm. Had very good run, both players. Very good run. Yeah, Flamby, an excellent player. Uh, very, very, very good. You know, results throughout the uh, throughout the season. Um, playing mostly on those Saturday. Those Saturday ranked matches uh, because of that time slot, but uh, but doing very well in his matches. Absolutely. So it seems that Arcanus has set up his build. I think it's now just a time for them to be verified. We'll be going into game five. Very excited to see what both players decide on. Arcanus yeah. might not be willing to go with his. A plus just because if this game fails, he's going to want something that he can rely on on Flumpy's host. That is correct. And you know what? That's a good point. That Spark Array Turbine, he could have pulled that out in the very beginning, actually, and probably played it pretty effectively. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, considering we both to swapping to their build. Let's see what they come up with. Flumpy picking up Twin Turbines. Are we, are yeah. we potentially seeing a mirror match? Ha! Oh there my. we go. <laughs> oh my. So it's him who pulls it up. And Both we've got... players running the Twin Turbine Spark Array with different basics and dashes. Mm -hmm. And the only oh, sin is that they are left with their C and D dash in, uh, basics. and uh, basics. Uh, they should rush a little bit. Very useful here. Especially if... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh yeah, so... that. Not a bad uh, arena for a blind pickup and a no repeat because you can quickly replace something like a bladed mind with an enhanced bolt disc, and all of a sudden you're back. You're back to you know. Base. Yeah, so pick up very nice here. Tracer barrage into first time mode again. 
very good build. We see four lightning arcana on the side of Long be finishing that build very early while Atanas is still struggling to find a single spell. Thundering Chain, nice pickup the right ground. there. Very good pickup. Miss pickup. And Flombi taking him to school with his with his own build. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think that Arcanus, no matter how the rest of this round goes and this match goes, he's going to be a bit furious. <laughs> Losing on it on your own build, very bad. Glacial Cross to start off with our first yeah. up for this round. Very good. The Aqua Vortex here, very strong, just completely denying uh, the Spark Array from appearing at all. Very yeah. Good. Dragon Circuit, sure. enhanced, very scary here on the side of our camera. Cyclone Boomerang, the same, giving him more range, but Spark Array is going to be able to deal with that. Spark Array doing a great, great job, but look at that. They've finished builds on both sides, very aggressive builds for Flombi here. Yeah, like, you can see that. For kind of pick up, Volt Disc in the middle of the arena. Neither player going for it. This is a bad spot. Yeah, exactly. And, and just getting close enough to it, you know, got him caught right there in those turbines. And even though these players are so close this whole time, this match is still very close. Not doing a lot of damage for his close. This is the closest proximity we've seen to players. Uh, you know, I think in this entire in this entire matchup. Uh, but no one's taking a lot of damage here. Mm -hmm. Like we're seeing very little basic jazz. Another, another Volt is on the ground. Dude, the game wants them to have the good basic. Still surprised Flambi to go straight for that. Cyclone Boomerang really doing a lot of work, bringing Flambi right into that spark ray for that combo, and that's going to be that circuit dragon. Cyclone oh, Boomerang yeah. very strong for that damage output. Yep, hiding behind those spark array and like peeking behind, peeking from behind. Absolutely. Enhanced players, very scary here. Either player who gets this. Lombi taking that entire, entire combo he right there. He's not able to get out and he took a bunch of his and was definitely very And good Arcanus player. on top of that, able to walk right into those homing players and pick them up without without a problem. And here we go. He's down to 43 health. This is going to be very, very tough. He got Lombi that storm drop. This very your partner is avoiding it. He's, He's down to 1 HP. Very 1 close. HP. <laughs> One Can he hang on to it? But mm. only the players able to take him out. Not, not with the flares out. out. No way. Perfect. Yeah, once he got those flares, he was opening it up. Uh, amazing final round. I mean, that was a real, you know, that was very close uh, to going into, you know, uh, a, a, a sixth game right there. Or a, uh, yeah, into into the next game. Six, which will run back to Flambi, so it's very scary if our chemist lost that. Yeah, so that'll do it. Arcanus. Arcanus is going to take the Pride Bracket Championship first place, 30 points. That's going to put him at 69 tournament points, and uh, that's going to put him at the top of the uh, at the top of the overall points uh, as well. So, uh, very interesting to close out that bracket, to close out that uh, part of the Lenovo Cup tournament. And uh, the only thing we got next is to crown a champion. Um, Trago, what do you think about going into this championship? This championship, last time I fought Scary Jack was way before, back when Riptide Reza Rek got banned. So I think going in, he's not going to know exactly what I'm going to be playing while he still plays Zephyr Drill. So I think that might give me a bit of an advantage there, just on oh, that lack of knowledge of what I run. And we're excited to I've see it. I've been in the lab and I've thought of a few things. <laughs> Excellent. And we're excited. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, and we've got one more match. Stay tuned. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.